In the small, unremarkable town of Brooksfield, nestled amidst dense woodlands and obscured by heavy fog, technology was a welcomed companion. In 2023, post-pandemic life had drifted towards an almost complete reliance on virtual connections. The newest gadget on the market, the Nexus 7, turned every household into a smart haven. With its sleek design and promise of a seamless interface, it had made its way into nearly every home, every home but the crumbling old mansion atop Elm Hill. The mansion belonged to the Carver family, infamous more for their eccentricities than for their presentation. The last remaining carver, a reclusive woman named Margaret, was rumored to have dabbled in strange practices, surrounding herself with fables and forgotten rites. No one knew when Margaret last emerged from her weathered facade, but they whispered of dark shadows, flickering lights, and whispered conversations that echoed at night. The townsfolk knew better than to trespass on her property and thus left her to her madness. One evening, in a frenzied pitch to gain followers, a tech influencer named Jake saw her isolation as an opportunity. His large following hungered for the bazaar, and a live stream from the haunted mansion of Margaret Carver would amass views like never before. He gathered a small crew and, armed with his Nexus 7, they made their way to the mansion, their excitement overpowering their apprehensions. All right, people, today we're breaking into the infamous Carver mansion, Jake announced live. The crew moved past the wrought iron gates that screeched against rusty hinges, making their way into the overgrown path that led to the house. As night fell, the environment changed. Mist curled around their ankles like tendrils, and eerie sounds echoed from the woods, whispers, perhaps? But on they ventured, dismissing the unease settling in their guts. The mansion loomed before them, dark and imposing, its cracked windows like hollow eyes gazing down at their approach. Jake whipped out the Nexus 7, declaring, let's see if we can make contact. As he activated the device, a low hum filled the air. The cutting-edge AI of the Nexus 7 began scanning the environment. One feature boasted the capacity to detect anomalies and communicate with potential spirits. While Jake believed it was just a flashy gimmick, an unsettling air fell over the group. Inside, the mansion's interior was untouched by time, dust-covered furniture, framed portraits with crumbling edges, and an oppressive silence blanketed the rooms. Jake decided they would split up to cover more ground, and after a few jokes about the ghosts of Christmas past, they agreed. He stayed in the neatly preserved parlor laden with cobwebs, while his team ventured upstairs. Let's get this show on the road, he said, pointing the Nexus 7 toward a large portrait of a stern-looking woman, assumed to be Margaret. The device buzzed and emitted a series of flashes, green, red, then blue. Jake felt a chill run down his spine and turned abruptly when the door behind him creaked open despite having been shut tight. Margot, is that you? shouted one of the crew, peeking back into the room. Shut up and get back to your feed. This could really be something. Jake snapped, fixing his gaze back to the portrait. The Nexus 7 suddenly blared, anomaly detected activating interaction mode quote before he could process the statement the lights flickered and the room felt heavier as if veiled by an unseen force the device began to retranslate words into ethereal whispers that coiled around him leave this place alarmed jake questioned if someone was pranking him he shot a glance toward the stairs where his crew now appeared a mix of trepidation and curiosity rimming their faces did you hear that what one of them replied, though they hesitated, sensing a shift in the air. Let me try again, he said, eyes darting to the screen of the Nexus 7. Its interface glitched, the haunting message warping into an unriddled maze of codes and symbols on the display. Frustrated, Jake clutched the device tightly. What the hell is wrong with you? In response, the lights flickered violently, the room swirling into an unnatural state. The crew gasped as the once serene portrait morphed. Margaret's face twisted into a grotesque sneer, eyes alive with malice. Leave, leave now, echoed around them as if the air spoke for her. They stumbled back, retreating through the house, but no sooner had they turned than the Nexus 7 emitted a horrendous screech, blaring a countdown from ten downwards. What did you do? One crew member screamed. In a flurry of panic, each sought an escape but the doors slammed shut, locking them in the suffocating grip of madness. 
The Nexus 7 began to whirl, vibrating violently as if something sinister was trying to break free. Jake, control it, someone shouted, pushing him toward the door. But he clutched the device, mesmerized by the spiraling lights, unable to comprehend how he had awakened something in the dusty shadows of the mansion. What if? Jake hesitated as the countdown hit zero. The resulting explosion of fractured digital frequencies reverberated. Ghostly apparitions filled the air, swirling about like wisps of smoke, their faces contorted in eternal despair. There was a thunderous crash, followed by a harrowing silence. The Nexus 7 shattered against the floor, and darkness engulfed them. They were trapped, forever ensnared by the technology they thought would elevate their fleeting fame. Outside, the town of Brooksfield sighed as fog reclaimed the mansion. No one would venture there again, their whispers merging with the night. Days turned to weeks, and in the absence of the crew, the mansion slumbered silently, yet it pulsed with a life of its own, waiting for the next unwitting soul to discover the power of haunted technology.